Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're looking at the latest Hunt Vault subscription box. This is the Hunt Vault Elite box, and the theme this month is exploration slash survival. So let's jump right into it and take a look at the gear. All right, first item we're gonna look at is this, which is a survival knife machete type tool from Outdoor Edge, their survival series. And you can see this is the Brush Demon. The designer for this is Jerry Hossum. Yeah, Jerry Hossum is his name. And he makes custom knives, but he made this one for Outdoor Edge. They basically took his design, which you'd spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars for, and you're getting this for the value. This is probably around $60. I've reviewed this before. If I remember, this is actually spring steel, maybe that this is made out of. I can't remember exactly, but I've reviewed this before. I've seen it, uh, tested it out. I like it. It's a very cool chopping tool. I'll put a link in the description section so you can see the full review of this, uh, of this item. But yeah comes with a sheath right there and uh, I can definitely say as far as you know a budget chopping tool machete large you know just a, a, a good tool to use out in the back country that's a, a large kind of chopping tool this is definitely one I would recommend so thumbs up for this that's a cool option that's the first item second item is this which is the next belt the belt with no holes comes in this pretty fancy box let me open it up real quick so here's what the belt looks like Notice no holes. Basically what we have is down here on this end. Let me get it all the way open up like this. You can see there's basically a track. You slide this into and you're gonna hear it click as this goes through. Let's see if I can, there we go, listen. Ready? And then when you wanna release it, you're gonna press this little button here to release it. Cool belt, what I can tell you uh, initially is that there are other companies that make similar belts to this but I did see that they do have a, uh, a patent number, it looks like there, on the next belt. So you're gonna cut it to the size that you want, not on this end, which is obviously sewn and everything, but on this end, and so you can see 49, 48, 47, and then you basically lock it in with the teeth here, and then you got a very nice belt. So that's kinda cool, no, no holes in the belt, classy looking, nice buckle. That's item number two. Third item is this, which is from Wicked Tree Gear, and this is a handsaw. And I will tell you this, that I have actually used this saw, not this particular one, but the exact same model in the past. I've reviewed it. I'll put a link down below in the description section so you can see that review as well. And a good saw, lightweight, very functional. And I'll also tell you that in a survival situation, bushcraft, those types of situations, a saw is a great tool to have. I thought I cut my hand for a second. Definitely comes nice and sharp. And let's see, I think slides in this way. Yeah, slides in this way. You got the sheath system here. Put it on the pack, put it on a belt. That's item number three. Next up, we have this, which is a hybrid light. And these must just be getting more and more popular because I just got this in another, um, another subscription box from Monthly Knife Club, but not the exact same one, but same company. So this is the Journey 160, 160 lumen flashlight, hybrid solar flashlight and charger. You can charge it, charge the light with the sun, and then you can also charge the, uh, charge the flashlight with a USB. And then I think, let's double check here on the back. Yeah, charges mobile devices. You can charge your phone and other things off of this as well. So there's some of the specs down there. 160 lumens, eight hours on high, 25 hours on low. Go down to one meter, drop resistant. So yeah, cool little light and you know camouflage, which cool looking. I don't know if that's gonna be helpful in the woods because if you drop it and it's hard to find because I mean if it's off, it's during the night. You drop it in the woods, it's gonna be hard to find because of the camouflage. So maybe you want to put a little bright orange or tape on that or reflective tape or something. But so there's that next item. Next up we have this, which is the On X Hunt Premium App membership. Basically, this is going to be a uh, membership um, to OnX, which is an app you put on your phone to find various hunting locations. So private land ownership, color-coded public lands, private lands open, hunting access, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I've used this to locate um, areas just that I can get out into the woods that are public lands. Um, I don't think I've got the the uh, this premium app membership. I, I think my membership probably ran out pretty uh, maybe a couple months ago. But anyhow. We'll uh, put this on my phone and test it out. I have used this before. It is a cool app just to find you know, public lands and places you can use for hunting and other outdoor adventures and such. 
This next one's cool. This is from Lansky, and this is called their World Legal Knife. And the idea behind the knife is that because of the size of the blade, the locking mechanism, etc., let me just get this stuff out of here, that it's legal in the vast majority of countries around the world. So that's what it looks like. Closed up, you can see it's a Mikkel Willemsen design. Does a lot of uh, cool knife designs. It opens up like that and then all the way and locks in. As you can see, there's no liner lock or anything. It's just got kind of a tension point and then it closes back up like so. so that's what it looks like in hand. Very comfortable in hand, I can tell you. Kind of that cool, cool looking blade there. It is, I think, what is it, 9CR? Yeah, 9CR 18 MOV. So, I mean, not a super high-end steel, but definitely a cool, this is a beefy knife. I was looking at this, I tried to actually get Lansky to send me one, but they were like, nah, we're good. So, anyhow, I got one now, which is cool. And uh, yeah, again, world legal is the concept. Kind of a, I don't know, maybe a little bit more effort put into the pocket clip would have been good, but it is reversible at least, which is a plus. And then closing it up like so. G10 handles made by Lansky. Kind of cool. I do like this thing. It is just, I don't know exactly how or why I'm going to say this, but it is super ergonomic. Just feels really comfortable in the hand. So that's that. World legal knife. Next up, we got this big item, which is called the Power Grab Attachable Stability Handle. And let me just show you the picture on the side because I think it's the best. Basically, it's something you can attach to the, to a tree. So, you know, if you're moving around in your tree stand, you're climbing up to your tree stand, this is something that gives you a lot of stability. Just the notes right here, provide superior balance and stability for hunters entering and exiting a tree stand. So that's the power grab, big hefty item there. And I'll show you the last item, which is this Duck Commander logo hat. Camouflage, I think it's hook and loop, yeah. Velcro on the back. Arise, kill, eat. So that's the last item in this month's Hunt Vault Elite Box. The theme is, on the, what is it, exploration? Let me read it again here. There it is. Exploration and survival. So here's a look at all the items in this month's box. Again, this is the Elite Box from Hunt Vault, which is $160. There's also the more basic box, which is going to be $40. But so many people wanted an Elite Box that they eventually built one, and they've been very very popular. So um, yeah, cool, cool items. Guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.